solid angle. In our earlier session, we have learned about luminous flux. Now, let us learn about solid angle, one of the important terms. Have you ever observed the light? The light travels in the form of spherical wave fronts. If the distance of the source is different, then there is increase in radii of the sphere and form as concentric spheres. Let us consider a sphere of radius R. Let us also consider a small area A on the surface of the sphere as shown in the picture with shaded region. Now, let us draw number of lines from the source S. Thus, all the lines meet the boundary of the region A and thus all lines form a cone. The angle at point S which is covered by conical surface called as solid angle D omega. The solid angle can be measured by the ratio of area A and square of the radius R. The solid angle is measured in steradians. Now, let us learn the definition of solid angle. When the normal lines are drawn from the boundary of a portion on the surface of a sphere, such that lines meet at its center and form a cone, then the angle enclosed by the conical surface is defined as solid angle and it is equal to the ratio of the area of the base of the conical surface, the portion on the sphere, to the square of the radius of the sphere. Thus, the solid angle made at S by an area A is D omega. Therefore, D omega is equal to A by R square. Let us assume area A is equal to one unit. Radius R is equal to one unit. Thus, D omega is equal to one steradian. As we already know, area of the sphere is A is equal to four pi r square as the radius is r. Therefore, total solid angle for the sphere as a whole is d omega is equal to 4 pi r square by r square. Therefore, d omega is equal to 4 pi steradian.